thank you. <laughs> oh, this is wonderful. Such, such gracious uh, hospitality. You know, the gospel was about us. And the reason it was about us is it because it, Jesus described the people as seeds who come together individually and, and through their own genius and their own goodness and their own kindness and their own wonderful qualities create a harvest. It's a metaphor for, for beauty and goodness and health and all things we can hope for in our lives. And uh, we are truly grateful. And, and the fact is that each of us has been called to be a Christ person. That each of us has been called uniquely not like anybody else, not like Deacon Paul, not like Joe Kenna, not like anybody, uniquely to be this presence in the world of a seed blossoming. It's a metaphor for wonderful, wonderful, kind, good things happening. We had an example of that at the beginning of Mass today with them helping me. That, that, that was, that's, that's the gospel, and that's what we are as a community, and that's what our purpose is as individuals. Now, each of us leaves, lives this individual life out uniquely, uh, depending on who we are, um, depending on our situation in life. Uh, one of the unique ways that the, this can be lived out is in a family, a family of people who are unique in this family under unique circumstances, but they are able to become seeds that bear witness and heal and strengthen and have faith and a purpose and love. That's, that's what Jesus is calling us to as a community. And that's what the, uh, the transfiguration means, the transformation. And uh, so uh, I'm, I'm going to share with you part of my family. As a, as a, um, which is different from your family, but you have a wonderful stories, and I think it's important these stories, these family stories that we have that are unique to us, each of us, the family stories that bear fruit, and that that blossom and they that bring everything that Christ wants to bring to the world. So that's why we come together to support each other in our, our stories. Now, I, as I said, I'm going to tell you one little story myself. My grandma Pearson was born in Sweden. <laughs> And uh, she left Sweden uh, when she was about 19, 20, I came to uh, the Pacific Northwest and fell in love with a fellow from Los Angeles who was also deaf-mute. So as deaf-mutes, they lived in this little community. Uh, he worked hard in a mill, and uh, she was a wonderful housewife and did all the things she was supposed to do, and they were great people. And 
they had three children. Three children, the, all of which could hear and raise them well. They were loved, they were supported, even hearing. And in fact, each of them eventually in their life became a millionaire, <laughs> a literal millionaire. They had such powerful parents who did not rely on their disability, but were able to move, transform that transmitted disability into a support of their children who worked their own uh, unique purpose out in life. Uh, each of us has stories like that that we need to listen and think and celebrate and, and support. We have that as a parish coming together. You have, you're seated with all sorts of interesting, amazing people doing fantastic stuff. You can't even imagine that you are supporting every Sunday by coming here, helping them develop that that metaphor for the meaning of their Christ person, of who they are. That was my grandmother, Pearson. My grandpa, who worked in a mill, uh, was a very hardworking man, and was a great, great fellow, and a very big support. Uh, he used to uh, um, had a, he used to love hunting, and then uh, uh, Grandpa Ken. Uh, yeah. Anyway, we have many of them. Uh, each of us could stand up and spend the whole day telling great stories about our family. So. Uh, this is what the message of this morning is, uh, to be a Christ person. And to be a Christ person, you have been given what God wants you to have to celebrate your uniqueness in life. And sometimes it's being blind, Sometimes it's a multiple kind of stuff we all have to deal with, which is different, but it's a unique way for you to become Christ in the world. And that's what this is all about, is about becoming Christ in the world. So I thank you for putting up with Joe Kenna today. <laughs> and uh, we continue to pray for each other that we become that light on a mountaintop of healing and love and compassion and forgiveness and hard work to end hatred and bad things in the world. And I thank you for sharing.